We're going to start off talking about something that was mentioned on yesterday's show because on drive I was joined in the studio by Premier League winner and former Spurs gaffer Tim Sherwood. And Tim said Sean Dice is the man to bring Deli Alley back to his best. He's not turned a bad player overnight. He, he obviously has uh, regarding his game time. No one's trusting him. Um, but I think that maybe Dyche could be that man. You know, talk to him on a level, get him back, simplify his game. Mm. He's very good. We know what he's good at. He arrives. He arrives in the box. You know, if they can scrape relegation this season, which I believe they will, um, and they start decoration, decorating that some foundations, what they might have there at Everton. And I think that Delhi could be part of that. I think certainly we'll go back pre-season and, and try and prove his, his worth. And I think Dyche will have a, a frank conversation with him, sit him down uh, and tell him that, you know, that you're a long time retired and out of the game. You need to get the maximum out of your career and you've mm. still got time. And, and I believe that there is a player in there. He believes there is a player in there. He's still only 26, Delhi. It's mad that... What, firstly, can you put your finger, can anyone put their finger on when a player's form just falls off a cliff? Is it is it down to what, like, if you sat him down, right, mm. and you said, listen, whatever you tell me, we'll never go out of this room, no one will ever know. Do you think he'd be able to pinpoint the reason why? It's, it's such a difficult one because you're right, pinpointing exactly when it went wrong. Because even with Deli Ali, I mean, some of the, the highs that he reached, I mean, some of the seasons that he had, certainly when he first burst on the scene with Tottenham, mm. um, Scoring that wonder goal against Crystal Palace, the volley, that was in 2015-16 season, that was. That long ago? That, that long ago, that's when he scored that goal. He scored 18 goals a year after that, and, and since that, what is it, 16-17 season, he's kind of, he's, what's the word, his goals and his assists, all of his, productive, all of his productiveness has, has kind of dried up. Yeah. But even when Mourinho, I can remember him having a kind of a mini revival. This was on the all, all or nothing yeah. dot. I remember when, I think Jose got the job, mm-hmm. and he scored this goal at Old Trafford, Deli Alley, where he flicked it between two defenders at Old Trafford and he smashed it past the hair and I went oof that's the Deli Alley that we're used to seeing Yeah, but for whatever reason he just can't put the consistency together um, the, the, his dynamics the way he's, he's, he plays is different now all of a sudden his strengths were he was like a goal scoring midfielder so he'd arrive in the box like late ten. Uh, yeah would, would run in behind Harry Kane that was him at his best but all of a sudden he started coming off wanting to get the ball to feet trying to show everyone he was a good player when we know he was a good player mm. But what's happened to him, obviously, the last stages at Tottenham, then going to Everton and not playing. <coughs> and, and also, sorry, a lot of people thought because he was going to Everton under Frank Lampard, who, who, who was you know, one of the greatest mm-hmm. players in that position in the history of the Premier League, mm-hmm. you thought if anyone's going to get him to start playing, it would be Frank. And, and he didn't, it didn't work there, but it didn't work. So, I mean, I'd, lo- I'd love to be close to Dele Alli because I hope he's got people around him that are speaking to him and he's... Like, where exactly has it gone wrong? Because you don't win PFA Young Player of the Year twice in two years. That, that doesn't happen often. Score 18 goals, be one of the main players for England at a World Cup. It was a regular, right? Regular. Yeah. To all of a sudden now being, not nothing, but all of a sudden he's 26, but people are like, hmm. Have you, have you ever known it from another player at a club you've been at that their form has just all of a sudden just disappeared? Well, I, I remember playing with David Bentley and at Blackburn the season before, he was phenomenal. He, he, had, he had a partnership. He, like, the connection he had with Ro- Roque Santa Cruz was, was brilliant. And then he came to Tottenham and it wasn't the same. like, And that wasn't for wanting to try him, by the way, because mm. I, obviously I've never played with Delhi, but I remember David Bentley would work hard in training. He wouldn't shirk it, but it just didn't happen for him. But for, for Delhi Ali, it's just, you, you do wonder, is he working hard enough? Is he is he really giving everything to get that maximum mm. to get back to where he was? Because we saw Jesse Lingard do that when he went to West Ham, but I know Jesse's had a tough time this year with, with Nottingham Forest. But Delhi Ali's just got to somehow try and rediscover that Delhi Ali of old because he's at the minute he's just wasting away. Mm. Um, he's going to go back to Everton you would imagine at some stage Yeah. will Sean Dyche Tim Sherwood was talking about the fact that he thinks Sean Dyche could get a tune out of him do you think he can? he can but where does he play in that Sean Dyche team? because at the minute they're not they're a team that are very much an out of possession team having to work hard get close to people work really hard mm. I'm not quite sure that Sean Dyche system would suit someone like Deli Alley. I'm, I'm just not. I, I, I'm sure he put his arm around him try and get the best out of him yeah. and if he, does, if he starts firing you'll find a place for him but it's an incredibly long road back. What about sides in the Premier League that would take him? What sort of level is he? Dan, Dan, uh, no, Dan, Dan works on our show. He's a big Brentford fan. He said he would have him at Brentford. Yeah, I could see Thomas Frank coaching him, putting him in, into the right system that would yeah. that would would really help him flourish. I think he could he could do good well there. If Spurs got Pochettino back, do you think Spurs fans would think it would be nice for Deli Ali to link up again and maybe Poch could get a tune out of him? Which well, Poch couldn't at the end. Poch, remember, it was at the end of Poch's reign that yeah, he but, kind of went. But at the weird. end of Poch's reign, he couldn't really get a tune out of anyone. That's why he left, right? Yeah, no, I don't think they're taking back at, at Spurs, okay. no. But he can do a job in the Premier League? Uh, you'd have to think so. With that about ability that he's got, yeah. but it's it, got to come from himself. Yeah.
Talk Sport Drive with Andy Goldstein. Monday to Friday afternoon from 4 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.